Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I'm doing a whole bunch of oil painting experiments while also experimenting with the camera, the angle, the cropping, etc. So with this one, I poured out some asphaltium, which was based off of something that they would use, I believe in the 1800s, to mimic the look of aged oil paintings. Um, I think it was like a cooked down mixture. I think there was tar and all this other stuff in it. I don't think it was very stable. Um, but this one is just a mixture of, let's see, does it even say what pigment it is? Oh, it has the three pluses. It's very super light fast. PY110, PR264, and PG7. So it's a mixture of three, and this is Rembrandt brand. Anyhow, this guy was pretty on the orangey side. I figured we would glop it on and see what would happen. thought I had a lot bigger mixture there, but apparently not. I guess because it's so transparent, they use a lot more of it. So we'll see how it affects the whole thing, for better or for worse. Okay, get the cap back on. Cap, that would be for better. This does not want to go on. <laughs> Well, we can obviously still see what we would, I guess, consider the underpainting. And usually I'd wipe back to discover said underpainting. But I'm wondering. I should apply more and then just soften this coat and see, or see what happens. Right? More is better, isn't it? That's why these oil painting videos are definitely presented as explorations. I have a transparent oxide orange that I think I'm going to try the next experiment with. And I'm curious if it's going to um, be applied in the same manner, if it's going to be difficult due to that transparent aspect. So we'll see. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to kind of soften the brush strokes. Do I want to texturize it? We'll see. What can happen? We'll start tapping out. That far distant. And I'm tapping so I can get the softer edges and transitions.
rowing back. I'm trying to vary the pressure of my hand. Apologize for going silent, just kind of thinking. Let me wipe out a little bit. There. So I could come back in. soften it back up. I wonder how bright I can get it right here. Like the top of a, like the sun coming through a haze. Tint this guy back a little bit. Definitely makes it feel a little bit more dramatic than the original. I don't have the original picture in front of me, but I'll put that in the edit and I'll let you decide. I think besides lifting up right here, I think I'll let this one um, sit and uh, relax and dry. We'll see what happens. Bad thing with the cheap brushes is that you get brush hairs all over the place in the painting. I think Stuart Davies has a good uh, technique for that, which just involves hitting the brush. Do I want to pull up some more? Sorry, I'm kind of just speculating on film and just taking a while. I think that's as much as I can pull it up, to be honest. So it might not be pulling that paint underneath. All right, so I'll leave this one at this. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Um, I may come back with another video in a few days and play with this some more. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you all soon. Bye.